Is that close enough? You sure? Are you sure? You positive? I think this might be a little better. <laughs> you can't talk shit about my Jeep. I really can't talk shit about it. Can't talk shit about my Jeep. Yes, I can. No, you can't. It, it, it. All right, everybody, welcome to Shift Heads. This is my sister, Nikki, and this is her Jeep that she has affectionately named Sancho. And today, what we're going to be doing with Sancho is we are going to be replacing the front and rear shocks and the steering stabilizers. Uh, real quick, Nikki, this is not a stock Jeep by any means, is it? No, no, no. I bought it pretty much just as it sits. The only thing I've done is I've changed out the horrendous bushwhacker fenders that it came with. Um, and then I added the lovely Sancho sticker here. Um, and then my husband put tires on it for me shortly after we bought it. So um, yes, it is a 2013 Wrangler Sport. And very nice. I hate Jeeps. Okay. <laughs> Well, let's get started with this, shall we? I don't like these lug nuts because they have this outer, it's like, it's like a shell. It's just the nice fancy chrome shell bit and what happens is corrosion happens in between them and these shells will swell up and then you can't get a socket on them. You gotta like hammer the socket on there and then they get stuck. And it's just not a fun day. this we get our handy dandy new stuff I don't know if you can how you can tell if you know like if there is any spring left in it I mean it's not like well yeah that's not too bad but if you compare it to your new ones it's a lot more stiff Hardest part is getting the new one in and lined up. Oh. Yeah. Just make it, you know, just take it right on back out. There we go. Now we take new bushing up on the top. New washer up on the top. I'm gonna need my fingers for this. Take the gloves off, something is not happening here. Well, my problem is, is I can't get the nut on the shaft up here because there's just too much, there's too much bushing because, well, duh, they're new, they're nice and thick. And I can't get the nut started, so I need to find a way to compress that down. I think. How am, gonna, how am I gonna do that? So I gotta get I gotta get these new bushings in here, but they're a lot thicker. What if we shave this off? Can you shave this off? Well, no, because that goes, there's a hole in the shock tower here mm -hmm. that this sits into and keeps it positioned oh, in place. You. So that way it's not moving around. So the best thing I can think of right now. Now I've just lost the nut in between my freaking. It hit the ground. There we go. All right. Now we just put the wheel back on and that's done on this side. We repeat the process on the other side. Oh, wow. 
You know how I said Jeep was stupid and didn't put enough room on the other side? Well, they were really dumb and didn't leave enough room on this side at all. Oh wow. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Good thing I know what I'm doing, I guess. I can't even get my freaking ratcheting wrench in there. Are you fucking, are you seeing this though? Like, I mean, come on, Jeep. Look at this crap that's in my way of getting this shock out of here. Come on now. I mean, I know the Jeep's small to begin with, but you couldn't find somewhere else to put that crap. You gotta put it in the way of one of the main things you have to replace on a regular basis. Glad I'm wearing gloves, cause I can just feel that crap chewing up my fingers right now. I just gotta think to myself, this is gonna be the hardest one. This is gonna be the hardest one. The rest of them are easy. Look at all this crap they put in my way. Look, look, all of this. Oh, Somebody's wow. already been in here and, and chiseled a bunch of this crap out. I'm gonna have to do some cutting because this plastic bit is in the way of this. And if I leave this on here and this is, you know, kind of floating up and down, you're gonna hear a slight knocking up on the front of this. So I'm gonna need to do some, do some cutting. Yeah, Bill Steens. So, I love my so, Jeep. You love your Jeep. <laughs> and I can make fun of it all I want. I just worked no. on it. And it gave no. me a hard time on the front. Fine. But what now you're front? shocked. What's wrong with the front? Because there was no room to get the oh, thing okay. in there and the... the, right. the you can make fun of, me all you, all, fun of it all you want for that. Yeah, and the driver's side was the easy part. The, the, the passenger side, there was more crap in the way that I had to cut out. But I'll show you that in a second. But you, you've got new shocks on it. you got Bilstein's. Yes. Awesome. So uh, shift heads did the work. So here's two shift yes. head stickers. I Those, cannot wait to put them on. I've actually got one left after that. So I got to get more made up. I'm totally putting these on. Got to get more made up. So yes. anyway, enjoy your Jeep. I will. I always do. And let it's me know how ride. it goes. It's going to ride so much better. I already can feel it just from moving from there to here. I already Seriously? made a difference. I, it really did. Like, I trust me, I, I know every little quirk with this guy and so I felt the difference already I'm super excited can't wait to get on the road awesome okay so do some jeep things and take it off the curb let's do this <laughs> Yes, thank you, baby bro. I love you. You're